Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and I am once again on the western shore of Lake Michigan at one of my favorite spots, Rock Beach in Sheboygan County. I haven't been here in about six weeks. As you can see, it's all still a rock, so I'm not worried at all that all the crazy weather and storms turned it into sand. So like I said, I haven't been here in a while. It's a little windy. I'll try to do my best with the sound. But let's see what we can find. Okay, so as you can see, still a ton of alewives and stuff on this beach. A lot of algae. Actually, I see something right here. I'll grab it on here. But hopefully it's not very fishy like that the whole way down. Yeah, here's a cool little maybe basalt with just some quartz inclusions in it. Kind of cool. Maybe a porphyry. Pretty cool, but yeah, like I said, hopefully the fish aren't everywhere, but oh, let's go see. Yeah, I just found this thing. Really crazy. It's like that mudstone or chert, and then it's got some kind of coral in the top of it here. Just a nice full solid nodule though. Oh, what's that? Yeah, a nice full, uh, look at all that banding in there. That's pretty cool. It's kind of just like fossily, maybe arachnophyllum, maybe stromatoporoid. Really cool contrast though. I might keep that one. All right, let's find some more. A couple more here. Just found this. It's probably just quartz and I don't know if that's staining all around and it's just white on the inside, but I'll have to think about that. I might take that to try to get slabs, to try to get some yellow slabs because honestly it is hard to get yellow slabs from Lake Michigan, but I might keep that one. Then we got this one. Oh, it's drying off already. It's just kind of a crazy, I don't know, it's some kind of banded something or other, but it's got some like chert inclusions like right there. I don't know, that might be a good slab or two, but we'll have to decide. And then I found this little guy, which might have some agate stuff going on in there. Looks like it would be like a kind of a peeling agate. I don't know though, that might also be a cutter, but that one's probably coming home either way because I don't know, I feel like Feel like that's something going on there but all right let's find some more. more here one tiny little piece of maybe favocytes but you can see some of those little vesicles are agatized maybe a little bit in there just a tiny little piece so i probably won't take that and then we got this guy which is another favocytes i believe but it's set in like i don't know what it's set in shirt and quartz maybe i don't know that one might be a keeper to cut but I don't know, there's gonna be a lot of those today. We'll have to decide what we wanna take, so. All right, let's keep going. This, it's just a cool little piece of green and black, you know, for free. Just very, very cool, nothing to keep, just cool green and black pattern. And then I was standing here, and I saw this thing in the water. Uh, kind of just a chunk of quartz, probably, but still cool. Got some inclusions and stuff in there. Nothing to keep, though, because that usually that Pretty, but all right onward two more just kind of cool ones this is just like maybe i don't know quartzite with this big line of white maybe calcite or quartz running through it you know it's kind of dull so i don't think i do anything with it so that one will probably stay i would think and then just another really cool piece of porphyry that just this one's got these big rectangular crystals in it i just love that just all the different shapes that you can get in those crystals and I have a lot of this stuff, and you can find a lot of it everywhere, but just a cool piece. All right, let's keep going. Let's see the first piece of fossil soup. Oh, yeah, that's actually not a bad one either. Pretty full. Not really on that side, but a lot of fossils in there. Nothing to keep, though. Kind of gritty. This guy, just a really cool piece of chert. It's got all this patterning in there. And the other side, it's just got all these colors. It's kind of brown and black though. Yeah, I don't know. Normally I might take something like this to cut, but if it didn't have this basalt here maybe, if it was all chert, I might cut it, but it'll stay here. I'll leave it right here for somebody. digging through the small stuff a little bit found this cool little you know just granitoid but it's got this white ring around the top almost looks like a cup kind of might keep that one i don't know we'll see and then i got this tiny little piece of quartz and then i found this crazy piece of slag hopefully i can get it all 
you know, it's not very wet, so there you can see where some of the glass, like, kind of is starting to form, or was formed. Really cool. I might actually keep that just because I haven't seen a piece of slag that you can actually pick out, like, the little glass particles and stuff. So, yeah, I might actually keep that. All right, let's find some more. Okay, so, I just found it right there. I haven't picked it up yet. Big chunk of stramatoporoid, I think. A little bit stained on the outside, a little dirty, a little mudstone. Yeah, you can kind of see the calcite or quartziness there. Some layers, maybe. Pretty cool piece, but, you know, I don't know. It might be really super awesome inside, it might just be a big grit bomb, but probably won't keep that one. But really cool find. Nice big chunk. All right, let's keep going. found these two. Two pieces of rhyolite, one porphyritic, this one. You can see the little clear, maybe blue pockets in there. And then one is amygdaloidal with filled in gas pockets instead. Just tiny little pieces, but cool to find both of them pretty much right next to each other. Two pieces of rhyolite. So kind of cool. All right, let's keep going. One of those things I find every once in a while down here. It's a crazy like sandstone and shirt brescia like look at all that wispiness there and it goes all the way through and then there's big chunks in there of different colors i have a couple other pieces that are you know a little bit more included than this another big chunk right there but really cool if it was a little bit fuller of those bands i would probably keep it and slab it but we'll leave it here for someone it's pretty sweet there you go Here's a little mudstone with some maybe calcite inclusions. Tiny little thing, cool looking. And here's a basalt with these crazy green lines going through. They go all the way around, come back around this way. I don't know what that is, if that's like just a green staining or if that's green basalt and black basalt. But that line's pretty defined, so I don't know. Kind of cool, but not, you know, if it was more full of those green lines, I might take it to cut, but. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Really cool though. Leave that one on a rock too. Well, I guess I was wrong, you know, usually this beach is just covered in rocks, but now I have all these patches from those big storms that are all sand now, so I'm gonna have to look on this first cut. You can see kind of where the waves pushed them all up right there, the ridge. So I'll have to do a lot of looking on the way back, but let's keep going forward. There's a couple more things before the end of the beach here. It's kind of crazy. I don't know if it's jasper or what, but it's got all this red and orange and white. It's really cool. It's really fractured though. Um, so probably not going to take it. And then one little, could be spermatoporoid, could be arachnophyllum. Um, hard to tell. But it's nice and square. I don't know. Maybe I'll take it. Maybe I won't. We'll see what we find in the dry rocks on the way back. So I'm going to flip around and I'm going to walk all the dry stuff all the way back. Here's the first handful from up in the dry rocks. I haven't got any of them wet yet. So let's do that. Let's try to set them up over here. All right. So this one I kind of knew. Yeah, it was going to be a horn coral. Just has a really awesome pattern right on the end right there so i think i'm definitely going to take that one home maybe try to shine it up just like that and you got this guy which had all these bands on it yeah it's banded with green and then it's got kind of this green cap on there so i don't know if that's staining if it's not though and those are all bands in there these slabs would just be awesome so i think i'm definitely going to keep that one and then this one i saw something on here that almost looked like a little agate something. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, right there. Almost looks like a little agate pocket right there. A cold water pocket of some kind. It's very weird. It looks very churdy. I don't know. I think I'm going to take it home and cut it. Let's see if there's any bands inside there. It might just be a big full nodule. Yeah, yeah I kind of see something coming through right there, too. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to take that one, too, to cut it. I think there might be something hiding inside of there, but, yeah, we'll take a Roman and see. 
All right, let's find a couple more. A couple more if you want to dry. That quick. So one I know for sure. Yeah, it's an amygdaloidal rhyolite. You can see that kind of reddish grayish color with all those inclusions in there. Big one on the back. I don't know, it's an okay one, but it's not very full, so probably won't keep it. And then we got this guy, which is some kind of fossil for sure. Uh, probably Favocites. Yeah, kind of just, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see the side of the fan there. It's a nice thickness. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep that one to cut slabs out of it, see if I can get some cool side cross sections. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's find some more and we'll probably be back to the car. Last two from the dry, let's get them wet quick. Let's see what we got. Yeah, one of those nice mudstone and chert banded pieces. You can sometimes get some good slabs out of these. This is actually a good size. Um. Yeah, I might keep it. There might be some agate stuff going on in there. You can kind of see right there. Might keep that one. And then I picked this up. And eh, just quartz. Quartz just looks a lot different in the dry rock, so I always tend to pick it up. Here, I just spotted this too. This might be one of those crazy mudstones. Ooh, it is. I might actually keep this too to cut it. <laughs> Sometimes you can get some really crazy stuff inside of these things. All right, so I did find some other stuff. So what I'm gonna do is just get home, get everything cleaned up, and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so I'm home, I got everything cleaned up. There was a couple things you guys didn't see, so I'll go over that stuff first. Um, first, there's two Jacobsville sandstones that I found. This one I found was just like perfect. I'm keeping these for a landscape project that I'm doing, a pond project, so I got that one. Then I got this really, really good one too. Other side's not as good, but this side's really sweet. So those will go good with my landscape. Then I always try to find one or two Uber lights and I bring a couple home and actually this one was one. So I'll show you guys at the end under the UV light actually how good of one it was. And that's the first one I've actually found in the light <laughs> before. Um, and then I found this little cold water pocket going all the way through this rock here. It's kind of got some depth in there with some quartz. Goes all the way through there. Just a cool piece. Just put it with my little cold water pocket pieces. And then this was another stromatoporite. I just saw that sticking up in the dry rock, so I just threw it in the bag and then I got it wet. And it's a nice stromatoporite and it's got this nice little cold water pocket running kind of through the whole bottom of it. And then it comes back over on this side again. So that was really cool, just a nice little seam underneath a really wispy spermatoporoid, so that piece will probably just stay right like that. So that was a cool one. All right, then the ones you did see, you guys did see this one with the, I thought might have the little cold water agate pocket in it right there. It's really hard to see though. You can kind of see the shape of it right there in the yellow. So what I'm going to do eventually here in a video is probably just zip a strip right here next to it. And if it's in there, if it actually goes in and gets bigger, then I'll probably cut more slabs. If not, then I'll probably just leave it and I'll shine up the end slab. And then this one you did see, this was that Churdy Favocites. I think it might be Churd or it could just be Mudstone. But I think what I'm going to do with this too is I'm going to cut some slabs out of it or maybe just cut it right in half. I'm not sure, but I want to see what that contrast looks like with the chert. Like you can see it looks like chert right there with the favocites in this, you know, silica material. I just think it's going to look really cool. Then I found this one, which you guys saw, which I think is probably syringopora in the top. And then it just gets all of these crazy mudstone and chert lines throughout the whole thing. I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's pretty thick. I could cut slabs this way, thin, thin slabs, and I could do earrings out of it. I think that's what I'm going to do, because if that pattern comes through in there, that's going to look just super awesome. So that's probably how that one will turn out, get slabbed up into little slabs. And then we had this um, horn coral, which just has a really cool end right here. You can kind of just see all the little patterning in there. And then it does come through to the back too, which is a really cool piece. So I'll probably just try to shine that up a little bit and not lose, not lose that patterning. And then this little guy, which I still think has probably got some agate stuff going on. You can kind of see all the little different 
inclusions and stuff. So I think actually I probably will just cut this thing right down the middle and just see if there's anything in the middle of this because it'll, you know, 50-50 chance that there's some cool patterning in there. So we'll cut that guy. And then last but not least was this crazy striped green and brown and orange. And I said before that it th I thought it might be staining, but now I look on the bottom and you can actually see that it's actually peeling right there and all these different colors are peeling off right there. So I think the slabs from this thing are gonna just be amazing. So that's what's gonna happen with that one. Definitely getting some slabs out of it, probably this way. All right, so all in all, a really good hunt. It was beautiful outside. It was a little fishy smelling because of all the dead fish and algae, but it was still a good hunt. So if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for a couple close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I almost forgot to show you guys uh, the Uper light that I found. So let me shut the lights off here. I'll show you what this thing looks like. Look at that. It's just throughout the entire thing pretty much on that whole side. I'll flip it over. Pretty much that whole side too. So that's actually a really, really good one. One of the better ones I've ever found. Alright, so now you guys can stay tuned for those pictures at the end. Bye-bye. <laughs>